Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, how to level up your design system skills uh, using Figma. Now, the very first thing that, that I want to talk about uh, is uh, actually an announcement, and that is that Figma is organizing uh, an event uh, around uh, design systems pretty much uh, and it's called the schema now this is going to happen in the 7th of october of 2021 but if you're watching this video in the future from what i read uh, you're going to have access to the recordings and uh, the speakers lineup is uh, pretty pretty interesting and uh, especially the agenda i mean we have speakers from uh, uh, you know, from the director of product at Figma all the way to lead product designers at Netflix uh, and uh, many other really big companies. And uh, it's going to be around the design systems from what I'm seeing uh, for a very most part. So this is going to be a really exciting event uh, to attend. I myself uh, recently discovered this and I sent the application, which uh, is quite extensive, but uh, really looking forward to this event uh, and hearing the opinions uh, of uh, these uh, industry leaders uh, at uh, these companies. So definitely really, really looking forward to this uh, and something that uh, I would recommend you to check out. Now, another thing that uh, I wanted to discuss, of course, in this video is how to actually level up your design systems. And uh, I recently discovered this website right here which is design systems for figma now as you might know from my other videos on my youtube channel i'm a big advocate of learning from greatness and uh, especially someone who's already been there and done that and uh, this uh, website really enables you to do that uh, in uh, a, an easy way and also for free from, from what I'm seeing. So this is really, really an amazing research. But let me tell you exactly uh, why. So essentially over here you have uh, a list of all sorts of different uh, design systems uh, and uh, you have uh, even like really big companies uh, such as Shopify, Slack, uh, even Figma themselves, uh, Asana. And uh, essentially what you can do is uh, click and select one and uh, you're going to be redirected to the Figma community um, page of that company. So basically over here, for example, I can see the components uh, and uh, all of the main files uh, of the Shopify design system. So this is, this is great because uh, you can actually have a look uh, and uh, even duplicate this file and uh, literally uh, have a look at, at how they structure the design systems. Uh, you can even grab elements uh, and uh, kind of like create your own UI kit around it. But this is really, really awesome because uh, um, in the past, uh, you know, usually you would need to go and work for that company in order to have access to these uh, type uh, of files. But, uh, you know, in this website, uh, you're going to have a lot of this for free, which is amazing uh, for learning and uh, even potentially to structure your own project. I mean, this is really, really cool. Like, for example, if we go over here, I mean, I can literally have a look at inside the Figma file and uh, look at the data tables and, you know, all of the other uh, UI components uh, and uh, pages of this uh, design system. So this is one thing which I highly, highly recommend uh, um, all of my students to, uh, to do, to just go through these, uh, these files, maybe select uh, one, two, three major companies that uh, you really like and that uh, uh, you really enjoy their, their design systems and that you feel that they're structured well and uh, really have a look uh, inside and, you know, take the time, dedicate some time to actually uh, go in, the, in depth into these design systems, look at how they structure the components, look at how they structure their naming and, uh, you know, how they created the hierarchies that, that, that they, they did, you know, typography, color styles, all of that, because this is really, really uh, an amazing, uh, an amazing resource. Uh, um, I think uh, a lot of the times when something is available for free, maybe we have a look at it, we think, oh, this is cool. And, but then we can like move on to the next thing. But I would highly recommend you to, to really dedicate and spend some time on this because uh, uh, this is de definitely something which uh, um, I'm gonna do. And uh, I'm, uh, because <laughs> you're always going to, to learn something from uh, you know these big companies and 
seeing uh, how the big guys uh, essentially tackle these projects. Now, on top of that, uh, if uh, you go on the very top section, there's also a blog and uh, I would uh, recommend you to check out also the blog and uh, especially this uh, um, post right here from uh, lead designer at uh, Netflix, uh, because I think th this one in particular is uh, really, really cool. And uh, there's also, but not to take uh, from uh, the other posts, uh, I didn't really like have the time to go through each and every one of them, but uh, I just had a, I read that, that one. So I, I highly recommend it because I actually took the time to, to read it. So I recommend you something that I didn't, but um, definitely check it out. Uh, um, and uh, this would pretty much uh, wrap up uh, the tips for the day. So I also want to remind you that I recently launched uh, a free course uh, on how to get started in UI UX design. If you're interested in this type of uh, topics uh, and if you want to learn more about uh, how to get started in this field, uh, feel free to check it out. And I uh, also want to remind you that on my channel, you're going to find uh, over 500 videos uh, sharing my over decade of experience in uh, UI UX design. So if you're interested in more of these type of videos or even uh, software tutorials for design tools such as Figma, Sketch, uh, Adobe XD, uh, I have hundreds and hundreds of videos on that. So feel free to check it out and I'll see you in the next video.